Hey everybody, this is Dylan. I wanted to talk today about a question. Support your local urban farmer. <laughs> I wanted to talk about a question that I get often as a vegan. That is, well, what about humans being omnivores forever? They always ate meat in our evolution. And so there are a couple ways you can answer this question. One, you could not give in to social pressure because it could lead to an argument and you could say, yeah, I guess you're right, I can't explain it, and move on. <laughs> or you can answer it a second way, which I owe Dr. Lyle some credit. I, asked, I said to Dr. Lyle, I'm gonna use this analogy, and he said, don't even give me credit for it, but I am anyway. We know from proof that you can survive on an omnivorous diet. I did it for 30 years and I survived literally the whole time. Uh, here I am and I was eating meat literally every single day. So I know that I can survive on an animal diet and I'd probably live a pretty long life, but not the life that I want without prescription medications, controlling my body, without stroking out and having a heart attack, living with high blood pressure, whatever, you name it. You know all that, we don't have to get into it. We know from our evolution, likewise, that there was hunting and eating meat and all this, and it kept our species alive. So the way that you could respond if asked or the way that you could just understand for yourself if you don't want to respond if asked is that say you've got a car that runs on both gas or diesel and if you run this car on only gas it's going to go 100,000 miles. If you run the car on a mix of gas and diesel it's going to go 90,000 miles for example. It's, it's just a number. And then if you run it on only diesel, say it'll go 80,000 miles, whatever. And say now that you need to get cross country because that's what humans did. We went very far long distances where there wasn't uh, an abundance of gas stations on every corner as you're driving across the country. And so you're gonna drive across the country with no GPS, no map. You don't know where the next gas station is gonna be. So the safe thing to do would be if you get to a gas station, fill up, of course. That's, you know that that's gonna be result in the longest life of your vehicle. But then you know, then you see maybe 100 miles from now, you know you can go 300 miles, but you see a diesel station 100 miles from now and you don't know when your next gas station is going to be. The right move is always going to be to get the diesel because what if you don't get another gas station for hundreds of miles and you run out and you're dead. So in our evolution, this is exactly what we did. We would fill up every time we could get to a gas station regardless of whether it was gas or diesel, hopefully it's going to be, and it was a majority of gas rather than diesel. So our car did run the longest period of time possible in this environment. And we would keep on filling up. Maybe there's a gas station 30 miles after the diesel station. You're still going to top that thing off with the gas, right? It would make sense to do so. And if you hit a diesel station and you have no idea when the next gas station is going to be, then you're going to top it off there too. And hopefully there's going to be mostly gas stations along the way and you'll live as long of healthy a life as possible. Because we know that only diesel stations is going to severely diminish the life of that car. Now fast forward to today where we do have GPS and we do have maps and we know where every single gas station is and we can easily avoid all the diesel stations while ensuring that we're going to get just enough gas to live a long healthy life. Remember gas is our whole food plant-based diet free of oil and processed junk. So now we have caloric abundance every where we can get food from the grocery store on the corner that is going to adhere to our perfect diet and our perfect body. We've proven it ourselves that the best diet for us is going to be whole food. I have the best cholesterol numbers I've ever had. My blood pressure is right. My energy is amazing. My per body fat percentage is where I want it to be. And I, others that I know, my friends, my family that eat this way, and others that I've worked with in Well Your World are all have proven it to us as well that if you eat the right food and you stick to it, you're going to get the most amount of mileage with the least amount of intervention to keep you there. The doctors have proven it too. Regardless of our own experiences, we've seen study after study from all of the greatest doctors that we know and love. Dr. Esselstein with preventing and reversing heart disease. Dr. Dean Ornish has shown it in his work that you can reverse heart disease 
and be, live a long, healthy life when you eat the right food. Dr. Campbell with the China study has proven it. And then we've got the work of uh, Dr. Furman, Dr. McDougall, Dr. Goldhammer, Dr. Lyle, Dr. Greger, all these doctors that have shown study after study that uh, coincide perfectly with our real life experience that we're having and that we know is true. So fill up at the right gas stations and you won't need anybody to wipe your butt for you when you stroke out and we'll just be able to live an, a wonderful long life and like I always say, just die at the end of it all. And it'll be perfect for us and it'll be much better for the people we leave behind that didn't have to take care of us into our old elderly demented age. So. That's all there is to it. That's all I've got for now. Head over to wellyourworld.com to learn about my live interactive cooking demos where I am turning my kitchen into a high def studio with three camera angles, one of the whole kitchen, a close up of the cutting board, a close up of the stove, really crisp, clear audio. We're able to interact in kind of a conference room like setting as if you're in the room with me, asking me questions, stopping me if you want to see something again. We're going to be talking about lots of Dr. Lyle stuff this weekend and we're doing a pizza bar. Last time I did a taco bar where we had a whole spread of different um, recipes, I guess you could call them, for tacos. Now we're doing pizza bar with an SOS free pizza crust. So join us. You will have access to all of the previous replays as, as well as part of the subscription. So I encourage you to check it out. Thanks everyone for your support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.